Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Sagittarius. Hey Sagittarius! I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get right into your story. Let's get right into it. Alright. Sagittarius! I see that you guys have the upper hand on some kind of situation. Mm-hmm. All right. And it's, it has something to do with maybe you feel like somebody took something from you, theft, betrayal. I see that you guys are having some issues here with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords talks about theft, betrayal. It talks about you feeling like somebody took something from you or perhaps you took something from somebody, right? But I see that you guys have the upper hand on some sort of a situation. And I believe it might have to do with affairs of the heart because there's a lot of love here, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. As a matter of fact, when I look at who is in here, I see air and I see water. All right. Some of you guys specifically could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of you guys could actually be dealing with a Pisces specifically also. You guys could also be dealing with a Cancer, a Scorpio. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra as well. All right. So pretty much everybody in fire and air. So you guys need to use some kind of discretion. And whatever it is that you're trying to do. I feel like you guys are, need to be cautious. You need to use discrimination with choices. You need to move different. You need to stay low key under the radar. All right. I'm showing that you guys need to play the role of evasive. Not letting on too much. Don't say too much. Whatever that goes. I don't know what this is for. But this approach, whatever the situation is. This approach is one approach that you may not like, like you might not like how you have to work or move or whatever, but it is necessary for you to have some kind of uh, success, all right, and, and maintain the upper hand in some situation. Now, with the lover's card, and so far I feel like this is about love and self-development because with the lover's card, I see that perhaps you feel, maybe you feel like, you know what, I didn't... I, you know, in this connection or whatever this situation is about or whatever this situation, it could be a love connection or whatever situation, I don't think you fully expressed who you are. Because I feel like you guys are having some regrets here with the lover's card. The lover's is reversed, right? So surface-wise, yeah, you guys could be having some issues in love or maybe this love that was a beautiful couple, tandem. Maybe it's not tandem anymore. Maybe there's some disruptions, right? But ultimately, I see one of the things for you specifically is that you're starting to understand a couple of things about yourself. You're starting to understand that you are a compartmentalized person, and I believe that you guys were keeping them separate, right? But I also feel like you guys are at a stage in your life where you're like, I'm not going to do that anymore. What I am going to do is accept the fact that I am a, a brainy nerd, and I'm also going to accept the fact that I'm a pretty good looking person, right? So this is what I'm getting for you, Sagittarius. So you guys are no longer trying to hide these parts of yourselves not from other people but what you're doing currently is infusing them and, and and you're coming to an understanding that this is who I am right and when you decide how you want this to play out is how you want to, whatever your role is whatever you want it to be right so I feel like you guys are starting to understand certain things about yourself now with this realization there also comes a crossroads right so not only is there a crossroads but um, there's also something where you guys are stuck doing something. It's like a standstill. So it's a crossroads and a standstill at the same time, right? So some of you guys have been so engrossed in things that are material, making sure I got this and that, da, 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 whatever, right? Making sure I'm good. I have the finest this and I have the finest that. Yep, I got the finest whatever that whatever can buy. But at the end of the day, the hangman signals that, yeah, I understand you're striving for that, but um, and some of you guys are getting it. Right? But what about your, your spiritual soul, right? So some of you guys could be neglecting your spiritual soul with the hangman, all right? Now, because you are in denial about your own needs, this could be causing issues. It could be causing these, these issues that are coming up for you, these realizations, right? And some of you guys need to go internal, be more spiritual, and get these answers that you're looking for. But ultimately, when we get back to this relationship, it looks like... One of the things that happened during this transition is that two things could have happened. Your involvement in some love situation ended. It could be a love situation because we do see emotions here or it could be any situation. It's coming to an end, right? For some of you guys, the King of Cups reverse signals that you're, I, I saw this coming. I already dealt with it ahead of time. Da -da -da. It's not going to hurt me that bad because I kind of knew it was going to happen. I prepared myself. But then we have other people, right? Well, 
with the other folks here, the other Sagittarius, is some of you guys could be very dependent on somebody who is older, right? So this could be an older person or however the dynamic of the connection is. It could be somebody who is um, older but, you know, acts younger or vice versa. Somebody who's younger and they just act really mature. So whatever the dynamic is, there's some, some kind of dynamic where one is a little bit more mature than the other, right? And I feel like there's too much dependency on this person. Now, another piece to this, too, not only are you or whoever too dependent on this person, I also feel like with you guys that somebody might be trying to get rid of you, okay? So, however this story uh, serves you, whatever, right? Some of you guys, realistically, though, didn't want this to end. And some of you guys are left to deal with mourning something that is over, all right? And I feel like this was a situation that was really good, but it's not. So, let's take a look and see where we are. Let's see. I want love. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at love. I'm going to use these. Let's see how these go. I'm going to try these. Now, tell me what I need to know about whatever's going on here with Sagittarius and the connections. Tell me about this, this person. I'm going to pull a card, please. Please let me know what the love situation is. What is the love situation for Sagittarius? What is the love situation for Sagittarius? Love, okay. Solitude. Some of you guys, yeah, it's like, I don't, it's almost like you were made to go into to solitude. Like, it's not anything that you volunteered to do. I think that this happened after uh, some event happened. So you guys go into solitude and I still see there's a lot of things The only thing upright in this reading is the fact that somebody robbed you took something from you robbed your emotions, right? Communication. I feel like you guys are not communicating with this person at the moment. It's a possibility. Also We have rejection somebody could have rejected your offer for love or whatever this is, right? And I think that you guys do feel that for some of you All right, so whatever that means to you whew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's take a look. I'm gonna pull some more cards Let's pull and see what we get. Okay, what does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? Something about rejection. What, what can you confirm or what do they need to know, please? Jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whatever that's about, somebody, you need to be very careful, I guess, about who you share certain things with. There could be somebody around you with the energy of, of jealousy, planning. Now is the time to lay down foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Now, this card did come out reverse. So maybe you guys are all set and done with this love thing. And you're like, you know what? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, you could be focusing on planning something having to do with your future. Give me one more, please. One more. Friendships. Ooh, this came out for another read, too. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So it was actually a different one. All right. So something having to do with friendships. Your friends might need you. Something having to do with planning, whatever that means to you. Difficult times, be on guard as, uh, against chaos as foreseen perils or emotional people are foretold. Um, yeah, so it's just telling you guys that you guys may have some difficult times coming. And for some of you guys, you've been prepared for them. For others of you, difficult times could be that you have to mourn the ending of some kind of relationship. Okay. See, that's, that feels really weird. Huh. All right, so, I guess... All right, I'm going to just pull these. What do you have to say to your person so we get a better understanding of what happened? What happened here? Your perspective, please, Sagittarius. What do you want to say to the person who or people that betrayed you or whatever happens here? You are my only love interest, and I'm here to stay. Okay. <clears throat> Even though we're going through a rough patch, my feelings for you haven't changed. Things will get better, I promise. Uh, for some of you guys, Sagittarius, you may have you may have volunteered to take a break. You are my only love interest, and I'm here to stay. Even though we are going through a rough patch, my feelings for you haven't changed. Things will get better. Well, that's a message from your person. And I don't want to get flagged with this reading. Uh, so that's all I have for you guys. Let me, just, let me see if this guy's going to pass by. Nope. Before I get flagged. So that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. 
Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Ah, 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 please. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.